You're listening to Devotions with Pastor Daniel Williams, taken from the Redemption Church YouTube channel. Well, hey, everyone. Welcome. We're back at it, studying God's Word. And a verse I want to share with you today is 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 12. And I want to talk to you today about the gift of the Holy Spirit. The gift of the Holy Spirit. As we sort of finished our lessons learned, um, lessons learned from a sabbatical series this last Sunday, Pastor Robin was able to share about just the gifts of the Holy Spirit and how he gives us gifts and and just um, the person and work of the Holy Spirit as we're responding to him in our lives. And so I just wanted to share another verse, give you another take, and give you some solid scripture of who the Holy Spirit is and how important he is in your life. You know, I want to remind you that he is a wonderful gift um, to have in your life, the person and presence of the Holy Spirit, God himself, to be with us, the fellowship that we have with God. Uh, what a beautiful act of the gospel. Uh, the Bible says that that we've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, and God loved us so much that he sent his son to die for our sins, that separated us from God, to bring us in restoration and redemption back into him, and now we have God's righteousness through Jesus, and we can have fellowship with the person of the Holy Spirit. The result of the gospel, this good news, is we're family now. We have relationship with God. And that is the best gift you can ever receive. As we talk about gifts of the Holy Spirit, let's not neglect the fact that the Holy Spirit himself is our greatest gift, the Spirit of Christ, that we haven't been left orphans, as John 14, 18 says, but Jesus promised the Holy Spirit to those that believe in him. And if you are a believer in Christ, you have his Spirit with you. Intimacy, fellowship with God himself. And in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 12, the, the Apostle Paul brings this up as an encouragement. Uh, this is supposed to be an encouragement to us. Uh, in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 12, it says, Now we have received not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit who is from God, that we might understand the things freely given to us by God. Uh, we've not received the Spirit of the world, he says, but the Spirit who is from God that we might understand the things freely given to us by God. The very moment you trusted Jesus as your Lord and your Savior, the Spirit of God entered into your body. He would go on in, in chapter 6, verse 19 of this um, of this letter and say that the, the, your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. That when we have put our relationship with God, the Holy Spirit indwells in us. And the Spirit baptizes us into the body of Christ, he would say in chapter 12 of this letter. Uh, that God seals us with his spirit as a guarantee um, for our eternal inheritance. Uh, Ephesians 1, chapter 13 and 14 talk about that, how the Holy Spirit is our, our guarantee. He's, he's our seal. He's the one that, that actually seals us with salvation. And we know that hope is coming and heaven is real because the Spirit dwells with us and testifies of our salvation. The Spirit of God remains with us. Even though Jesus ascended to the Father, Jesus said, I'm going to give you the Spirit, John 14, 16. And he, the Spirit of God teaches us the things of God. Paul says, you've been given this gift so you can know freely the things of God. And the Spirit is also known as teacher. Uh, he empowers us to follow in God's ways. Acts 1.8 says this in Ephesians 5.18. You see, let us not forget that when we're talking about the Holy Spirit, we need to be reminded that He is God. The Spirit of Christ, the Spirit of God. God is a triune God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Three persons in one God. It is not in it, but in it is a He. You can grieve the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the primary agent here on earth with us for fellowship as we have a relationship with Him. And so we need to be make, having pronouns when we talk about the Holy Spirit and His role in our lives and relationally. You see, as Jesus was preparing to go back to the Father, to the right hand of God, He taught His disciples the role of the Holy Spirit and the importance of the Holy Spirit in our lives. In John 14, 15, and 16, He would say this in verse uh, 16 and 17 of chapter 14, I will ask the Father, and he will give you another helper to be with you forever, even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees him or knows him. You know him, for he dwells with you and will be with you. And so we need to embrace the person of the Holy Spirit, God himself, 
And when we do that, the Bible says that he is a spirit of liberty, our freedom. He frees us from the authority of Satan and this world systems to think biblically and truthfully. Galatians 5, 1 tells us this. 2 Corinthians 3, 17 tells us this. And as we have fellowship with the spirit, he transforms us. He fills us with the presence of God. He, As we surrender to the spirit, um, we're actually able to uh, walk with him and abide in Christ. As Galatians 5.17 sort of gives the language of walking in the Spirit. Uh, in fact, Galatians 5 tells us that when we walk in the Spirit, surrender to the Spirit, invite the Spirit into our lives and have a relationship with the Spirit of God, we're, we'll bear much fruit. The Bible says the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. This is the gift that God has given us through the gospel, that we have a relationship with God and He gives us this fruit as we abide in Him. The Holy Spirit ministers to us. He makes the Father real to us and reveals deep truths of the Spirit of God. He magnifies Jesus and is a vital person to have in our lives. And so Paul would remind the church in Corinth that they have the gift of the Holy Spirit and it's by God's love. Paul would remind not only the church in Corinth, but his spiritual son, Timothy. In 2 Timothy 1.17, he would say, Hey, for, the, for God has given us not a spirit of fear, but a power of love and self-control. We truly have a wealth of resources in the person and presence of the Holy Spirit that every believer in Jesus has by the promise of God. And so I wanted you to be reminded of that today because Paul wanted to remind us that, that this Holy this person of the Holy Spirit, God himself, is a gift to you. It's a gift to me. It's a gift to us as followers and disciples of Jesus. Uh, the Spirit, he says, is from God and freely given to us. It is by grace that we enjoy the power and presence of God. The, this incredible gift of God given to his children. That we are loved by God so much. That he not only sent his son, but he sent the spirit so that we would have fellowship with him and know the deep truths of God and have the love of God poured into our hearts. You know, Romans 5, 5 says God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. We've been given this great love of God himself through the Holy Spirit. And so we need to embrace the Holy Spirit in our lives. We need to use the gifts God has given us. And I just wanted you to be reminded that God gave this great gift of himself, the Spirit of God, to you today because he loves you today. And I wanted to remind you to receive the Spirit of God, to embrace the Spirit of God, to remember him, surrender to him, be filled with him, walk in the Spirit today. You know, Jesus gave us a beautiful promise about this Holy Spirit. In Luke chapter 11, verse 13, it says, If you then, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will the Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask? So, I would encourage you, ask God right now to receive the Holy Spirit to turn to Him and receive the grace He's given in the person of the Holy Spirit and be filled with Him today. Continually ask God to fill you with His Spirit and let us enjoy this beautiful gift of the Spirit of God from God our Father and from Jesus Christ. And so may you walk in the Spirit and may you continue to go to Him. God bless you guys and I pray that you enjoy this beautiful gift from the Spirit of God to you.